Welcome back. Today we are diving into a common data challenge, transforming massive budget data into a clean and usable format. We've got a fictional data set from DataMass Inc. and it's a perfect example of how to handle multiple rows of headers and unpivot data using Power Query. And the first step is to get this data into Power Query so we can start cleaning it up. To begin, open a new Excel file and head over to the Data tab. Click on Get Data and select From File, From Workbook. Navigate to where your budget file is saved, select it and click Import. Once the Navigator window pops up, choose the sheet labeled Budget Data and hit OK. Now Power Query Editor opens up, showing us a preview of our data. As you look at the data in Power Query, you can immediately see that the headers are a mess, spread across multiple rows. This makes the data impossible to work with in its current state. To fix this, we need to start by reorganizing these headers. The first move is to transpose the data. In Power Query Editor, go to the Transform tab and click Transpose. This flips your table turning rows into columns, which makes it easier to deal with those multi-row headers. Now that your headers are in the first two columns, you'll notice there are gaps where header values are missing. To make sure each column is properly labeled, we need to fill down these values. Still in the Transform tab, select the first column, which now contains your header information, and click Fill Down. This action fills in the gaps, so every column has a complete header. Next, you notice that the headers have unnecessary text like budget. That just clutters the view. It's time to clean that up. Select the column with your filled down headers. In the Transform tab, click Replace Values. In the dialog box, type Budget space in the value to find field and leave the Replace this field empty. Click OK to remove the unwanted text. Your headers are starting to look much cleaner. But wait, there are still two rows of headers. We need to combine them into one row with a unified and clear header. Highlight the two columns that make up your header rows by holding down Ctrl key while clicking each one of them. Then in the Transform tab, click Merge Columns. Choose a space as a delimiter so the two header parts are neatly combined. Click OK and you now have a single clean row of headers. Now that the headers are organized, it's time to put the data back in its original layout, but with the cleaned up headers. Go back to the Transform tab and click Transpose again. This flips the table back to its normal orientation, but with the new cleaned up headers in place. Now that the headers are in the right place, they need to be officially recognized as such by Excel. In the Home tab, click on Use First Row as Headers. This promotes the first row, our cleaned up headers, to the actual headers of the table. Finally, your table is starting to look like a proper dataset. While the table is looking much better, some of the headers could still be more descriptive. Let's make them clearer. You can double click on the header to change the text. Now let's tackle the final challenge. The data is in a wide format, making it difficult to analyze. We need to unpivot it so that each row represents a unique date category combination. Select the columns that shouldn't be unpivoted like category and expenses. Then go to the Transform tab and click Unpivot other columns. This operation rearranges your data into a long format, making it easier to analyze. Finally, we need to make sure that the date column is correctly formatted, so that Excel treats it as a date rather than just text. 
Click on the date column to select it. In the transform tab, use date pairs. Now the dates are in a proper format and your data is ready for analysis. And there you have it. We've successfully transformed the messy budget data from DataMass Inc. into a clean structured format ready for analysis. See you next time.